Scientists announced on Friday that a huge iceberg broke off from the Bronze Ice Shelf in Antarctica. The researchers have said this iceberg measures at just over 490 square miles, or 1,270 square kilometers. According to a statement from the British Antarctic Survey, they have said the huge chunk of ice is bigger than New York City. The British Antarctic Survey's Haley Research Station, which can be found on the Brunt Ice Shelf, is currently closed. Researchers have said they've been conducting tests, and that they've been waiting for the iceberg to break away for years. The scientists said that for the last few years huge cracks have formed. Photographs were taken from the sky and they showed just how far this crack spreads. The crack was actually widened to several hundred meters by researchers in the hopes that they could free it from the rest of the ice shelf. The British Antarctic Survey said the following. Our teams at the British Antarctic Survey have been prepared for the carving of an iceberg from the Brunt Ice Shelf for years. All the data are sent to Cambridge for analysis, so we know what's happening even in the Antarctic winter. When there's no staff at this station, it's pitch black and the temperatures fall below minus 50 degrees. End quote. The British Antarctic Service Director of Operations Simon Garrod said the following. This is a dynamic situation. Four years ago we moved Haley Research Station inland to ensure that it would not be carried away when an iceberg eventually formed. That was a wise decision. Our job now is to keep a close eye on the situation and assess any potential impact of the present carving on the remaining ice shelf. Change in the ice at Haley is a natural process, and there is no connection to the carving events seen on the Larsen Sea ice shelf, and no evidence that climate change has played a significant role. Over the coming weeks or months the iceberg may move away, or it could run aground and remain close to the Brunt ice shelf. End quote. Another worrying find was detailed by scientists who were working in and around Antarctica. After the invention of nuclear arms, concerns regarding the complete annihilation of ourselves and our planet have been a pressing concern for experts and government officials from around the world. Most academics regarding the matter believe that not only is the possibility incredibly high for nuclear warfare to occur within the next 100 years, but that we're even closer now to a nuclear strike than we've ever been before. Given the recent advancements made by powerhouses across the world, it's become an even bigger issue. Scientists have recently come forward with some worrying news. They have said that a potential dangerous time bomb is getting worse as the Earth's temperatures rise. What they're talking about is the radioactive fallout from nuclear meltdowns and weapon testings. After the tests were done, that wasn't the end of the tests. Fallout then found its way into glaciers all across the world. Now, if these glaciers were to melt, which seems it's likely they will, it could mean that it might get released back into the atmosphere and this could have massive effects. A team of scientists have been working together to try and figure out spots where the fallout could be. So far, they've managed to find nuclear fallout in the Antarctic. Iceland, the Alps, British Columbia, as well as Antarctica. And as you can imagine, they're starting to get worried. It doesn't help either that researchers have said that Antarctica is melting at an alarming rate. Researchers and scientists who have been mapping and studying Antarctica have come forward and said they've been noticing some strange warming effects. This is happening at times they wouldn't expect. For example, like winter. Recent studies have been released and suggest the planet is warming up. The scientists have said this warming in the Arctic and Antarctica have caused many strange events. One being melting and off-winter problems including permafrost that never refroze this winter and also wildlife deaths. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released the following statement. In our recent report, we stated this year was the second warmest year on record in the Arctic and this came with many problems." End quote. The scientific team went on to say they found man-made radioactive materials at all 17 survey sites. The worry is that these glaciers and ice caps are melting. What then happens is it's released into the atmosphere and then falls back down to earth usually in the form of rain. What this means is it's then absorbed by plants and soil. Not just that, but a large bulk of it also finds its way into the oceans and rivers. 
this fallout can stay in the environment for a very long time. Interestingly, a recent study was done in Sweden, and they found that wild boar meat contained more than 10 times the safe levels of cesium. According to recent studies, Antarctica is now melting at triple the rate it did in 2007, and if this trend continues, thousands of coastal communities around the world will soon be underwater. Scientists have said that 10% of the inhabited land in the United States could be seriously flooded. In the last few years, flooding has become a major problem all around the world. One of the places being hit the most are areas around the United States. According to NOAA, it's projected that high flooding around the American coastlines this year will surpass typical levels of flooding by around 60%. This has scientists worried as it was initially thought it wouldn't be as high as this. Within the next 30 years, it's estimated that around 300,000 homes with a combined value of $117 billion are likely to be at risk of chronic flooding. According to a new National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration statement, they said that coastal communities across the US continue to see record-setting high tide flooding last year forcing their residents and visitors to deal with flooded shorelines, streets and basements, a trend that is expected to continue into 2021. The elevated water levels affected coastal communities, tourism and crucial infrastructure like waste and stormwater systems. Scientists have said it's important that they conduct further research, but have said the future doesn't look bright unless we make drastic changes. So what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.